Hey everyone, these are five interesting historical facts about St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The Carib Resistance St. Vincent was first sighted by European explorers between 1498 and 1502. However, permanent European settlements on the island were not possible until 1790. The indigenous people known as the Caribs exercised military defensive tactics and guerrilla warfare with their knowledge of the island's terrain to hinder the English and the French's hopes of settlement for over 200 years. This was the longest period of resistance of indigenous people to European settlement in the Caribbean. The Drama of King Chateauay In 1821, William Henry Brown, a retired West Indian steamship steward, founded a company called the African Company in Lower Manhattan, New York. It was the first known black theater troupe created in the United States. Two years later, in 1823, he wrote a play called The Drama of King Chateauay, which was based on the efforts of Joseph Chateauay and the Black Caribs to resist English and French settlements in 1796 on the island of St. Vincent. It was the first play ever written by an African American. The Union Island Rebellion St. Vincent and the Grenadines is made up of 32 islands and caves. However, that number almost couldn't include the island called Union Island. After massive complaints by residents as to the neglect by the central government in St. Vincent, a revolution was planned to achieve political independence by the inhabitants of the island on December 7, 1979. A boatload of arms was supplied to the rebel forces from then Grenadian Prime Minister Maurice Bishop. The weapons consisted of primarily Soviet assault rifles. 50 Grenadian soldiers were also sent to support the effort. However, a series of unfortunate events plagued the effort, including the sinking of the ship which was transporting the weapons from the island of Cariacou. As word reached then Prime Minister of St. Vincent, Robert Milton Cato, a coalition was formed with then Barbadian Prime Minister John Tom Adams, which crushed the revolution efforts. The Gloria Colita The island of Bekwe has for years been known as a shipbuilder's paradise. Perhaps the grandest of the accounts of shipbuilding came in the year 1939 with the construction of the Gloria Colita. This was a wooden schooner created by local shipwright and captain Reginald Mitchell. With a weight of 175 tons and a length of 165 feet with three masts, the Gloria Colita was the largest wooden sailing vessel ever constructed in the Caribbean. Reginald constructed a vessel on the beach at Belmont in Admiralty Bay on Beckway. The ship was used to transport crops and lumber to and from different Caribbean islands as well as the United States and Venezuela. Sadly and mysteriously, in May 1941, the vessel was found drifting in the Gulf of Mexico after leaving Mobile, Alabama with a shipment of lumber destined for Havana, Cuba without Mr. Mitchell or his crew. The 1967 Flag Proposal Every country is known by its flag. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is known for its blue, gold and green themed flag with three diamonds. However, most Vincentians might not be too familiar with this flag. It was proposed in 1967 during the country's projected efforts at achieving associate statehood. The flag featured green, blue, and yellow horizontal lines with a single diamond bordered by blue and filled with white with the sprig of a breadfruit in the middle. Though it was proposed, 
it was never adopted.